Hey YouTube, I haven't made a <coughs> video for a little while. Um, I'm working on this Chevy truck here. It's a friend of mine. It's something in the 90s. I don't know if it's a 94 or whatever. Uh, not positive of that. But anyway, uh, he couldn't get it inspected the other day. And it's because if, as soon as you see this, you know that there's something going on with the cab mounts. So when I uh, took the cab mounts off, just to give you an idea of how badly things can get, this is what's left of this. Okay, and this one actually had a tube coming here that was probably about that high that's already gone. So obviously the cab mount's pretty much shot. The rubber parts here could probably be reused, but I'm going to go with urethane. So I ordered some urethane, 3 inch, that I can turn on the lathe to uh, make these. And I, I, I just think they're better than the rubber is. Um, in case you've forgotten, the way these things work is this part here, the top part here goes against the cab. And then what happens is you would put this in there. And then this section here rests on the flange of the uh, frame that holds the cab up and then underneath that you would put this piece so the metal would be on here then you would put this donut and then you would put this and you can see how badly this is rusted that this is what the bowl looks like that goes underneath there now even this one's from my old truck that I took off you can see how skinny that is there were rusted this is the actual size of the bolt. So when I went to take it out, it just broke right off and left the piece up inside the cab, which is a pain. And I don't know how that's going to work out. But anyway, so that's how they would go together. So you'd have this, uh, this section against the cab. This fits in a hole on the mounting bracket. And then you put these, the donut and that other piece underneath to tighten up the bolt. So it's obvious that, uh, you know, one side's a lot worse than the other. And I'll show you what the uh, underside of this thing looks like. On the one side here, it's really bad. That's where you see the one that was totally gone. Yeah. You can see it there. This is the stud that's broken off up inside there. And then this is how bad the bracket was. And on the other side, the whole bracket is there, but the hole, this hole that you see here that's completely gone, that hole should be about an inch and a quarter size hole. That's about five inches right there now. So it's pretty well shot. The hard part is going to be getting that bolt out of there. So today's Sunday. And our local, Nap local Napa is open for a little bit on a Sunday. So I decided to stop while my wife and I were going to do some errand shopping. Sorry for the camera, guys. Um, and I picked up what I hope is going to take those out of there. I'll let you know for sure if they do or not. I don't really like this style, but it's a type of a, uh, it says Evercraft doesn't say lifetime warranty so I don't know if they're junk or not but apparently there's some little rollers in there that you slip this over the stud and when you turn it in reverse it tightens up onto it and you should be able to get the stud out. Well I'm going to try them and hopefully they'll work. I also got some uh, metal cutting blades that are fairly expensive for a pack of five but so then what I did was I also, in advance of this, I also made two m uh, new mounts that I can weld into place. i got to drill a hole in the top here of this. So what you'll have, once I drill that hole in there, you'll have a donut and the uh, mounting bolt underneath. And then this section here would actually sit on the top of this so I have to put a hole in there and that should be good so these are the right shape and everything 
they came out pretty nice the, and they're what the amount looks like at the moment as far as the shape goes but uh, the holes are screwed up but I can't do anything until I get the bolts out so I'm going to work on getting these bolts out and if I get them out then I'll go ahead and cut these existing plates off and then weld these new ones back in after I drill a hole in them okay so it's been a while guys since I made a video um, my other truck that I put together has been running fine I haven't had any problems with it uh, I actually plowed snow three times with it so we're doing good as far as the fr uh, frame is holding up so far so alright guys well thanks for watching and have a good day bye